Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nonron Films. Today we're going to continue our iOS 10 tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to edit a photo within the Photos app on your iPhone. Now uh, my Photos application is actually located to the top left hand corner of the screen here but you can also find it by swiping down on your screen and typing in Photos and it will be one of the suggestions applications right here. But uh, since mine is right here at the top left, I'm going to go ahead and 3D force touch onto it. It'll give you some uh, photos, memories, uh, favorites, search. But I'm going to go to most recent here. And uh, here we have a photo uh, that we took in our previous tutorial, a burst of 17. We're actually going to delete this uh, burst. And we're going to go to our previous photo, which is here. And it tells you at the top right here where it was taken and what time it was taken. If you click on the details on top right, it will show you the exact location it was taken. If you have uh, location services enabled for your photos. And also it will tell you some basic statistics regarding a photo. Now at the bottom left hand corner, we can also see the share option. You can go ahead and send this photo to somebody else. Or you can uh, make a slideshow out of it, duplicate it, copy it. You can swipe left and right from here. You can assign it to a contact, use it as a wallpaper. There's honestly so many options here. I, I highly recommend it. And, and also you can share it through AirDrop here as well at the top. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. You can also favorite this photo if you want with that little heart. Now with the options that I'm looking for, and for this tutorial in particular, are going to be just to the right here. It's going to be the little three bars here with the adjustment menu on it. Now if I click on this, it will take me to a quick like editing menu on the actual photo. Now let's start at the top left hand corner, uh, and then we'll work ourselves down. But if you click on this, we'll give you this... Uh, uh, it's within iOS 10 you'll have this uh, this markup option or more if other applications support this but you can go ahead and hit that markup and now you have this little uh, color wheel at the bottom here and you can actually now draw the harder you press if you have the 3d press the thicker the line will be but otherwise it will be just like this and like that now you can actually hold this entire object that you just uh, drew and uh, completely move it as well and you can adjust it by adding these uh, several other options. You can add text in here as well if you want to. Or you can uh, change the size of the text, <laughs> align it how you want, uh, change the actual font of the text, and uh, all these options within the markup features. But I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because this isn't really the features I want to show you guys. These are just additional items you have access to on the top left hand corner. But uh, also at the top right hand corner we have the auto enhance. If you click this, it will auto enhance the photo and it might add brightness to it, adjust the color a little bit. But I'm going to click it again to turn that off. Now you can cancel this uh, editing options, but uh, just to the right of the cancel button we also have the rotate and tilt options. Uh, bottom left hand corner um, you'll be able to notice that you can actually now rotate the photo with the bottom left hand corner with that uh, the square with the arrow pointing to the left. Um, you can reset your changes if you made some unnecessary changes uh, at the very center there. Also you can see that you can tilt your photo right here with the, the where it says 0, negative 10, negative 20, 10, 20. If you cl click on this and drag left and right you'll be able to notice that you can actually tilt the photo however you want. Now you can see that there's an actual outline of the photo and you can actually crop it however you want just like this by dragging one of these corners. Also you can change the aspect of the photo by clicking on just to the right of the reset button or just to the right of the auto button. You can click on this orientation you can change the actual layout of the photo and what uh, what kind of, uh, of square or you would like the photo to be. You can actually just crop it yourself as well just like that. I'll click that reset button. You can do auto and it will uh, auto adjust it uh, whatever the photo might think is necessary for it to be fixed. But I'm going to hit reset. And then just to the right of the actual uh, crop, I mean the tilt rotation button here, we have the actual uh, basically the color wheel I would say but uh, you can add these effects on these photos instant to transfer process it's not uh, as many as like Instagram would have but uh, this is actually pretty cool that Apple provides you with these and uh, they're actually built in within the photos app and uh, many many including myself <laughs> I uh, myself I tend to not use these as often as I should be but they are available here on your actual iPhone now just to the right of the actual uh, filters here um, you can see that we have an actual color adjustment bar now uh, you have the light color we have the color and then we have the black and white if you go to the right hand side where the arrow is you can click this and it will bring up a little 
it will actually expand it just like I just did there and it'll give you you can adjust the brilliance exposure highlights shadows brightness contrast black point this is all uh, honestly crazy like let's go to the exposure here and uh, we're gonna move this wheel here and we can change the complete exposure of the photo as you can see just like that by increasing the side light now if we click on the right right there on the the three bars there we'll be able to expand that menu again we're gonna drop down the light we're gonna go to color and expand that we can uh, adjust the saturation contrast and the cast. Let's do the contrast here and we're gonna actually you don't really see much of a difference there so let's go back and we're gonna do black and white and we're gonna do the intensity of the black and white and let's just uh, honestly there's no changes much change there either because I think it, because we've already changed the exposure and uh, we would have to basically change the exposure back in order to uh, fix that but um, there you are. I adjusted the photo. You can hit cancel to revert old changes right there to far left or hit done to save the photo. I'm going to hit done and it's going to save my photo just right there just like that and uh, you can actually revert these changes go to revert if you made changes and you hit done and you didn't want to now you'll see that if you went back to the editing options on that same photo it'll show you the instead of the done option it'll show you the revert option and you'll be able to change your changes back. And uh, that's the basics of um, editing and your photos and the photos application, you guys. Thank you. And be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. Catch you guys next video and later. Ladies and gentlemen.